breaking news. The Lagos State Chairman of African Action Congress, ACC, Ayo Nyinka Oni, has berated the General Overseer of Deepa Life Church, Pastor Williams Kumuye, over his recent statement about President Bola Tinibu's administration. In a press statement made available on Thursday, Mr. Oni said Pastor Kumuyi was wrong for claiming that Tinibu and his ministers would drive this country forward. He is wrong for making such statements. We recall that uh, Kumuyi on Tuesday said Nigerians would see new things through President Bola Tinibu's administration. The cleric affirmed that the president's new cabinet was carefully chosen, adding that it is composed of people with records. Addressing journalists ahead of the monthly global crusade of the church, scheduled for Osobo on Thursday, Komuyi said, this is a new day. And I believe, we all believe that we are going to see new things for our country through the president, Bola Admet Tinibu, and the members of his cabinet. So, reacting to this, the ACC Lagos chairman said, Pastor Kumuyi's church, that's the deeper life, wouldn't have been in existence 50 years after its establishment. If the cleric had managed it the way Tinibu and his men are presently managing and governing Nigeria. The church was founded by Kumuyi in 1973, 50 years ago. Oni said, let's ask Pastor Kumuyi if this is how he built his ministry. Did he build his ministry on corruption? Did he build his ministry on wickedness, on oppression, lies, indiscipline? If it was so, then the Deeper Life Bible Church would not be standing today, after 50 years, with so much success, even beyond church growth, but also in education, human development, and more. This is Pastor Kumuyo, who doesn't tolerate indiscipline among his members, among workers, ministers. But he wants Nigerians to accept what Tinibu is offering in this country. Workers and ministers in deeper life who err in the doctrine of the Bible and the church are always disciplined openly. Most of the time, they are removed from their position. Yet Kumuyi wants corrupt leaders in the country to continue with what they are doing. What a double standard. Don't spiritual principles apply to politicians? Abi, are they beyond repentance and judgment of God? Are the spiritual principles only meant for the poor and the low in the society? You see, the Deeper Life Bible Church is one of the most disciplined churches in the world. And Pastor Kumuyi is the major reason for that discipline. That is why, that is why to adjust some of the church doctrines which have evolved over the years, he had to regularly come to the pulpit to speak about it himself because he knows the pressure can reduce if the congregation hears it from him directly. So, we have high principles for the church. Holiness, integrity, and all. But when it comes to politicians, we now have lower standards, Abi. So our Nigerian politicians doesn't deserve heaven. Kindly help me ask our beloved pastor, he added. Because this is a matter that we need to really discuss. Is it that our politicians, they don't apply to the rules of the Bible, where they have to be disciplined? Or... Does discipline only apply to church members and those that want to go to heaven? So my country people, this matter don't get as it be. When I know say, Pastor Kumuyi don't come at us say, 
make Nigerians they you know patient oh, with Tinubu's government oh, that they should be very very patient you know under Tinubu's administration he even urged Nigerians to support Tinubu that uh, everything will be fine soon trust Nigerians now so people begin fire Pastor Kumuyo now so people begin blast this man for social media say how come this man he is telling people to endure this wickedness, this evil that we are experiencing in this country. So, so many people don't tell this man of God, say, make him know they use the name of God in vain, because it seems that uh, these are our religious leaders. They are also adding to the problems we are facing in this country. So many people have slammed this cleric because of the statement he made consigning uh, President Bolad Tinibu and his ministers. He has been coming under fire on several occasions ever since he made that statement where he urged Nigerians to remain positive, that we should expect positive things from Tinibu's uh, administration. We should accept the new leaders. We should accept the ministers. So Nigerians, you know, quickly reacted to this and they criticized him for making you know, such a statement concerning Tinibu's cabinet, whom majority have, you know, really have this feeling that, see, this cabinet that is being made up of, uh, you know, old politicians, they even refer Tinibu's cabinet as recycled politicians, politicians comprising of ex-governors and all of that. They are coming back into the system instead of bringing creative fresh minds that have great ideas not some retired politicians and uh, retired ex-governors and senators you bring them back into the system so a lot of people criticize Sinibu's cabinet and his ministers but then Kumuyi said no that Kumu uh, that uh, Tinibu's cabinet would bring positive change to the lives of many Nigerians in this country but Nigerians had already criticized him. So my country people, now the Lagos uh, ACC chairperson have berated the general overseer of the Deeper Life Bible Church, Pastor Williams uh, Kumuyi, over his recent you know, statement. He said Deeper Life Church wouldn't clock 50 years if Kumuyi managed it like Tinibu governs Nigeria. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.